Well, good morning. Nice to see you. Glad to have you with us. Watch the show today. I do appreciate you coming along. And uh, give you a little bit of details about the last video. If you haven't watched that on the uh, locomotive derailment where the one axle came off, I'll uh, put a link in the description. So we are right at the point of derailment, POD. And uh, let me turn around here and uh, give you a little more G2 situation. Also, uh, we're going to show you in the rest of this video uh, the repairs that we made on the broken rail that was up here. Okay, so you'll, that's what the rest of you, once I shut up, that's <laughs> well, We bring the railroad to you. I love this. <laughs> so I'll sh the rest of the video will be of the repairs of them uh, showing the broken, I'm gonna show you the broken rail up here too in a minute. So let me turn it around here. Okay, right here. Right here was our point of derailment. If you remember that night I took that with the grease on there and I'd also made a mark over here in the uh, coal to show where it is and you can see there's absolutely nothing uh, that would have caused this we've done nothing to the track since then nothing it's in tangent track and they are in a remote loading and the trains moving at uh, walking speed as they're they're uh, moving so <laughs> Uh, there, I put quite some detail in the description on that last video about derailments. Pretty good stuff that a lot of people don't know. So I uh, hope you'll go back and at least read the description on that. Like I said, that link will be in here. This was the point of derailment. And I said it was a tangent track. All the way up there where my truck is, is where the rail broke. Okay, the afternoon shift foreman was standing on this side as they moved the locomotive up to that concrete pad in that last video I told you uh, how they re-railed it so he was standing over there just opposite on this side watching the wheels and he said when that last remember the that side truck on the locomotive went off that side okay he said when the far end the last axle went over that weld up there he actually watched it break so you see how far away from the point of derailment is i didn't measure this but i'm going to say it's at least uh close to 200 feet away so that break had nothing to do with our uh, our derailment here it just was a bad night bad night on the railroad when when uh, things go wrong they go wrong okay I'm going to get off of here for a minute and I'll be right back up and we'll show you the broken rail. Well, all right, here you have it. Here's your broken weld. It actually did break in the weld. That's kind of a rarity. You see the web split out? This is uh, 10 days after this broke. Okay? Uh, they have run... About six trips a day since that happened, since the derailment happened. Okay, and so that's about 60 times they have run over this track down there at our uh, point of derailment, which is way down there where that new rock is. Way down there, and you see how far away we are up here. So, and they've had no problems at all. No problems at all. They had a locomotive mechanic check out that front axle and he said he could find nothing at all wrong. So anyway, uh, that's good. But it's really puzzling why that thing came off. So uh, if you hadn't read the uh, description, I can't remember if I said this in the last part, but I, I think I did uh, about some derailments in the description for that last video. So okay, 10 days later, and it was really, really cold that night and the next day. And here we are five days before Christmas and uh, 50 degrees this morning. Gonna go to 66 today, and I love it. So there you have it. Real great. It's really, uh, the, uh, we'll tell you this.
okay they was lucky they uh, had the two holes there already two holes in this rail and they were able just to put a couple joint bars on and hold it till the next morning when we came up here and uh, did the uh, the fix so we got that set in and the rest of the video like I said you'll see us uh, different parts of uh, us fixing this okay this uh, break was right here in the middle so we got it set up so we can weld these two joints in here soon okay hope you enjoy the rest of the video and if you're a uh, first time viewer I hope you like the video and subscribe and if you do please be sure you hit the notification bell okay cracked out the web there starting to break the base Cold last night. You'll see when they run that uh, D rail the locomotive up there. There wasn't any bolts in that joint. That was a weld joint. It's, uh, just decided it's a break. Another adventure. So, got some help out here today. I'm here by myself to track through them. Uh, I could do this by myself, but my goodness, it'd take a long time. And they're running trains like crazy. They got all kind of cold stuff. So that's the help out here. Front here help us this morning. We got a plug right behind me. We're gonna prop that off, prop the bolt holes off, and then uh, cut this out, set it in. A couple of go uh, two holes in each joint or on each side of the joint bar, and then set it up so we. Not too easy. Not all the ties are the greatest shape in here, but it's holding track gauge pretty good. It's holding gauge good. And uh, watch the train come out of here. There's no lateral movement at all on the rails, so that's good. All right. I'm not here to help these guys. Cut the holes off of that. Three holes. You can't weld rail together that has three bolt holes in it. So we're cutting three holes off. We'll drill the back two on that so we can uh, then get joint bars on it and set it up so it'll be able to get welded. You gotta fix up the air a little bit with the rail pump on my truck here to help them out. Don't like to cut down into uh, that ground. Don't have to. They dug out some ribs over here where they're going to make the cut. All right. Okay. I got to be really careful here trying to do this one hand video. Cold this morning. Hydraulics are a little bit slow. those guys. I'm going to have to wait here until he's done sawing. 
here and get a mark see where we can cut the uh make the other cut what's that sir what do you need buddy yes sir Set this in. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Got the plug set in. Nice wrench. Nice wrench. Outriggers up, okay. Then it runs it over there. It's uh, okay. a little control box here. I got 10 gallon per minute street side, okay. I'll be back. Okay, just about done. Nice. went well. Really glad you tuned in or what and uh, watched the show today.
Well, hopefully that's all that goes bad up here. My dad always said things happen in trees. A derailment last night, rail broke last night. So hopefully uh, trees don't happen this time up here. So, what? Yeah, that's railroad. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And uh, happy rails to you until we meet again. Have a really good day.